Hi, this week I'll be responding to Zach, who has 36 questions for atheists. Zach, you seem like a nice guy. I'll go easy on you, I promise. Why is there something rather than nothing? Oh, this is easy. How does something come from nothing? I'll give you the answer. David Copperfield. Psst, Zach. Cosmology has nothing to do with atheism. Is there any evidence that suggests the universe is eternal? No, but there is evidence for the Eternals. If not, why do atheists hold on to this idea and say that you have debunked the Kalam? If so, why do the vast majority of scientists reject this idea? Because the Kalam cosmological argument doesn't mention any gods. Let's take a look. Hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Nope. No gods. That, That argument does not include the word God at all. No, but... So it's not an argument for the existence of God, then, is it? Why is the universe so fine-tuned? If your answer is the multiverse, why is there no evidence for this theory? If you really think the universe is finely tuned, go to Jupiter to see how finely tuned for life it is. If you attempted to jump into Jupiter wearing a standard spacesuit, it'd be over for you pretty quickly. First of all, you wouldn't even make it to the planet. Roughly 300,000 kilometers from Jupiter, radiation would penetrate your suit and you'd die. Is it possible that there is no natural explanation for the origin of life? No, but we do have a number of possible explanations, including abiogenesis. Where does consciousness come from? Our brains. The same place all the gods came from. Do you lack a belief that God exists, or would you say that God does not exist? There's nothing to show that there are any gods, except Thor. He's real. Do you just lack a belief that Zeus exists, or do you believe that Zeus does not exist? If you just lack a belief that Zeus exists, why are you centuries behind the rest of the world who says that Zeus does not exist? Uh, there's no evidence for any gods existing. Do you act according to what you believe or what you just lack a belief in? As an empathetic human being, I understand love and pain because they are demonstrable, so I act lovingly and try to avoid inflicting pain. What evidence is there that atheism corresponds with reality? Until Vulcan, the Roman god of volcanoes, shows up, I'm going to say all gods are made up. Is atheism a worldview? If not, what is your worldview? As an empathetic human being, I understand love and pain because they are demonstrable, so I act lovingly and try to avoid inflicting pain. What would convince you that God exists? How about Yahweh puts his name in gigantic flames across the sky, big enough for the whole world to see? All show up. That's just one idea. Are you willing to follow the evidence, wherever it leads, even if it leads to a different understanding of how the universe works? Absolutely. I believe in the truth. If Jesus rose from the dead, would you become a Christian? Zach, this one's got me a little confused. There doesn't seem to be any correlation between the character Jesus from The Walking Dead TV series coming back to life and me choosing to join a religious ideology. If you wouldn't become a Christian, why would you ever accept the fact that he rose from the dead? Sure. I'd accept Tom Paine coming back from the dead any time, even though Walking Dead jumped the shark, in my opinion, in Season 7. Why do atheists keep insisting that faith is blind trust, when that's not what Christians or the Bible say? But the Bible does prefer to blind faith. Why do you want material evidence for an immaterial God? The God of the Christian Bible isn't immaterial. He's appeared as an angel, a man, and a bush in the Old Testament. So reappear as an angel, a man, or a bush again, so we can take a look at you, you sneaky god. Is there a purpose to life? Only if you choose to give life a purpose. If there is, by what standard do you determine that life has purpose? If not, what is the point of listening to this video? (sighs) As an empathetic human being, I understand love and... Where does morality come from? Our brains. How do you determine what is right? And what is wrong? Oh. When a lion kills a cub from another pride, because that's what natural selection has raised you to do. Uh, Zach, whoa, that's not natural selection. Is that morally acceptable? Lion brain small, human brain big. If evolution has put a sense of morality into us to help us survive, what makes our actions better than any other animal's actions? Our massive frontal lobes. Is it morally acceptable for you to kill a toddler because you can no longer financially support it? No. 
Is it morally acceptable for you to kill a fetus in the womb because you could not financially support it? No, which makes it morally difficult when lives are at risk due to medical complications such as ectopic pregnancies. Is it morally acceptable to kill a baby after it's been born? The passengers describe an eight-hour flight from hell with non-stop and nerve-jangling screaming and fussing. No, but there are circumstances when killing a baby is fine. How can you morally differentiate between a baby in the womb at six months and a baby born prematurely at six months? Uh, you can't? Who was Jesus? Jesus was a fictional character introduced in issue 91 of the Walking Dead comic book series and portrayed on screen by Tom Paine. Why did his disciples say that he rose from the dead? Maybe to establish an institution worth billions of dollars and maintain power over others via a cloak of superiority, alleging a connection with an invisible higher power. Why does the Bible keep lining up with archaeology? Because it was written a long time ago in real places. Why do the three bloodiest regimes in history, that being Mao's China, Nazi Germany, and Stalin's Russia, come from atheistic ideas? They don't. Stalin was raised a Christian. You can research this and find out about Stalin's relationship with the Russian Orthodox Church. And to quote Hitler, I believe one thing. There is a Lord God, and this Lord God creates the peoples. Thank you, Zach, for those new and challenging questions. And until next time, please take care.